Desserts. <laughs> Some complimentary wine. And then we're going to come this way. We've got some beautiful flower arrangements here. <laughs> and on this side, we have a couch that we can lay on. Got the gentleman side closet, the drawers. We've got a robe, nice and soft. So, or the type of robe, I guess, a Moroccan robe <laughs> for dirty clothes. If we want them to do laundry, come here. We have the toilet. And it closes for privacy. Then we have the men's uh, sink right here on the right side. <laughs> nice and beautiful, decorated with flowers as well. And then, let's talk about this tub though. Look at this tub, guys. Are you kidding me? It is so beautiful. And you can look outside. Ooh, look at those fruits. Are those grapefruits and lemon? Wow, cool. And then this is my sink for the lady. <laughs> oh, that's fine. This is my sink for the lady. And then we've got a beautiful shower. <laughs> this is the shower. It's nice and big to fit two people. also kind of outdoor so that's beautiful and this is the ladies closet right here my robe my Moroccan robe I have drawers drawers beautiful and then when we come out here all right, now let me show you guys our backyard okay who you know has a backyard this freaking beautiful? Let's go. Walk out here with me here. Look at this. And it's all private, it's ours, it's like a house. Beautiful. You can lay here if you want. Mm -hmm. 
breakfast outside, dinner outside, lunch outside, and it is private, all ours. We have lemon and lime trees on both sides. Isn't that amazing? Drive an all white rank. Couldn't hit it if a niggas had iron. Lanes can't call and you lame. You had it, then you lost it all the time. I can buy a belly, don't talk to me. For a show, 150, don't talk to me. You ain't never help your mans, don't talk to me. You should follow all the trends, don't talk to me. I set the bar, I'm the fucking bar. In the sky, I'm a star. I don't fall in love, cause I be loving hard. Do everything like my shirt. Alright you guys, so we have chilled in the hotel for a little bit and taken some photos and now we are about to head to the main pool to relax, get some lunch. It's so beautiful, like I don't even want to leave our hotel but I'm hungry, I need food. So we're just going to walk over to the main pool which is absolutely beautiful. I will record the hotel and everything on our walk there, but I freaking love it here. Um, let me show you guys my bathing suit. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> I have this bathing suit. I also got this from Zaffle. This fits a little bit much better. Um, it's a mixed match top. They kind of recommended them together, but I was able to get a large for the top and a small for the bottom. This is what it looks like. I have my Hermes slides. And yeah, so this is the bathing suit. I'm also gonna put my uh, I'm gonna put my cover up on, and yeah, because uh, the folks here are very much old, <laughs> old Americans and people from Europe visiting at this hotel, so it's very zen, which is amazing, I needed it, but yeah, this is what I am wearing to the main pool. I have a huge DSLR camera. Um, I can always take my own photos, but I've always just needed a good scenery, you know what I mean? So since we were coming, I'm like, this hotel is going to be so freaking pretty. I'm going to bring my own DSLR and I'm going to take my own photos for my Twitter and all of that good stuff. Make sure you're subscribing to my Patreon if you want to go and find my Twitter and uh, find how I meet my sugar daddies off of Twitter. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and head. Type of money you gon' make it right. Run out all the type of money, make it smell right. Type of money she gon' let you put it in the fire. Big bank, tight, low bank. Big bank, tight, low bank. Everything proper, no propaganda. Drop a can of gold yard, batting down. Big sack, a lot of hoes like Santa. Through a birthday party in a phantom. Big s like a dinosaur did it. And you know titties shining like a grillin' Yeah, I sold dope and had corn roll I can see you nigga hang with a drawer glow Now I'm looking for a glove with a sparkle on it And my CBD got chocolate on it Big bang, take small Make a count on some tall Attitude on some you Anyway, so we are about to leave the pool It was beautiful, it looks like it's gonna rain So we're gonna go back to the room And uh you know, hang out in our little private terrace. I'm taking my Bellini with me. It's like a mimosa, but with, what was it, peach. So good. Guys, this hotel. Oh my God. So freaking pretty. The pictures. The pictures. Love it. I can't. I love it. <laughs> Look, Tattoo Daddy's over there trying to take his own photos. 
it's so pretty like it's literally I'm in heaven <laughs> I'm in freaking heaven I love it love it love it here all right you guys so it has been quite a few hours since we left the pool I came back to the hotel I relaxed in the tub that was filled with roses it was so beautiful I read my book I've been reading this book and let me tell you it's so good Tati Daddy took a nap while I was reading my book and when I was done with the tub uh, you know we relaxed for a little bit and then we showered and now we are dressed for dinner I definitely have been drinking my wine so you know I'm feeling very nice <laughs> we are about to head to dinner and let me tell you guys my dress is so freaking pretty when I say it's so pretty it's Norma Kamali I believe <laughs> that's how you say it absolutely stunning I mean just look at the sleeves look how look at the sleeves the sleeve our statement piece on its own okay so I will definitely do an outfit check when we are probably uh, at the restaurant so we're just going to a restaurant here at our hotel at Amagena I believe that's how you say it <laughs> um, yeah so we originally planned on leaving to go elsewhere for dinner but when we got here it was like so pretty they also had an Italian restaurant which was kind of what we had planned on doing tonight so we decided that we we're just gonna go to the Italian restaurant here in our hotel and keep it very low-key because tomorrow is my birthday Eve so we are going to bring in the birthday tomorrow at 12 so we're gonna have dinner and all of that stuff tomorrow so yeah I'm super excited it is almost my birthday I'm almost 27 years old and can I just say 26 was fucking banging can I just say that like I want to say 26 was the best year of my life I'm not even gonna lie to you okay 26 was lit okay I got everything I've ever wanted at the age of 26 and more because <laughs> some of the stuff that I got this year I honestly was not even expecting if you asked me last year if it was going to happen to me I would have told you no so 26 has been literally amazing so I'm excited for 27 I'm grateful for 26 and honestly I'm not asking for much my 27th year of life I just want a continuous peace happiness and success that's all I want for 27 I don't want Nothing crazy, nothing extravagant, just continue peace, love, success, and happiness. So, yay, I will show you guys my outfit. I'm so happy <laughs> because I look banging. That's why I'm happy, bitch, because I look fucking good. Okay, do you guys basic and still hot as fuck? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Like, let's be serious, okay? If any bitch said I was ugly, that's because she's ugly on the inside. Because God knows I'm fine. God dang it! <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go to dinner. Um, yeah, you want to do a quick outfit? This is today. We are matching. Hey, we're matching. Hottie with a body. Singing, baby. Happy birthday, <laughs> Amanda. Happy birthday. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, she said, What you gonna do if I leave? I said, I'ma do me. VIG, everything zoomed in. Big bag on me, looking like I'm moving in. Got my foot in the door, and we still here. I'm a first generation millionaire. I broke the curse of my family not having. I'm passionate like girls that's after more than just cash and dick Feed me to the wolves, now I leave the pack and shit. you boys all cap, I'm more college cap with Nick I'm rare as affordable healthcare I'm growing the wealth from welfare I turn my W's to M's, yeah I flip those I might buy a red bottoms with the crypto Three points, that'll pay your whole semester But you gotta ride it better than a Tesla the next day today is saturday november 19th that means your girl is going to be 27 at 12 a.m tonight <sighs> hmm. just a few more hours of being at 26 and i'm going to be 27 mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> we had breakfast this morning outside you guys saw that and now we have changed into our bathing suits and we are about to head to the pool uh, this bathing suit is also from Zaffo <laughs> and I will show you guys once we get to the pool area but yeah so that is what we're doing today is just going to be a chill day at the pool like yesterday when we checked in chilled at the pool Today, same thing, chill at the pool. Then we have a dinner planned later on to bring in my birthday. And I'm gonna be 27. I'm super excited. Yeah, I have this hat. <laughs> it came with our uh, hotel. They had hats out here for us. So that's the hat I'm using. I don't know if we can take the hat with us. I'm not sure, but I know it came with the hotel. So <laughs> you can come, babe. So we're gonna head to the pool now and I'll see you guys when we're there. Back again, back to back, made back, stack the M's Told him I'm a slim shady, bag the M Once he go black, he'll be back again Tell him hoes that it's crunch time, abdomen Yes, I caught Mad Chanel and Mad Javin She did it again, imagine them About to make these pumps mad again uh -oh. Back to them, I leave the packs on my back to them Yup, the queen's back, what's happening? Rerun, about to make these thrive again Diamond uh. chains on my ankle Young money in the cut like a shank out Tell a clip of the bands on my bank roll Show my ass like a stank cow Tell me what you see when you look at me. So bad like that, too much, too much. Big night, baby. That was seven.
It is a Sunday, 11 20, 2022, and I am officially 27. I am officially 27. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Okay, so we are about to head to the pool and then hang out there for a little bit. Then we have a couple's massage at two, and then we're gonna probably go back to the pool, hang out and then have dinner later today. But it's officially my birthday and I am officially 27 years old. So you guys know I'm about to start telling people I'm 26, right? I'm 26 forever now. <laughs> if anybody asks, I'm 26, even though I'm really 27. I was always excited to turn 30, but now that I'm kind of approaching 30 in like four years, I'm a little, uh. I'm a little sad. Now I kind of want to be uh, 25 again. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're about to head to the pool. I have my bathing suit on. I will show you guys. It is so pretty, okay? It, it's giving what it's supposed to give. It's colorful, it's bright. This is what my bathing suit looks like. I got this from Forward. It is Faye Noel. So it is my birthday bathing suit. It's not from Zappo. This one's a little bit more on the expensive side. But yeah, and I'm pairing it with my Hermes slides. So yeah, this is my bathing suit for today. And yeah, we're gonna go take some beautiful photos and yeah, hang out at the pool and just chill. So let's. I'm giving a birthday girl. How do I get finer the older I get? Like, I make it make sense. All right, you guys, it is time for me to head to my birthday dinner. It is my birthday. I told you guys, I've been saying that all day. Um, but yeah, so today has just been such an amazing day. It was so relaxing. We did the pool, we got a couple's massage, and now we are going to dinner. I already did an outfit check while the sun was setting. It was super beautiful outside. I love my dress, love, love my dress. Um, it is a Bronx and Branco. I got it from Forward. This is what it looks like. But I'm gonna insert an outfit check. But let me tell y'all something. Oh, yeah. Let me spray some Baccarat. I just have my Van Gleef, Cartier, Cartier, Chanel earrings. I did bring a bunch of my other Van Cleef stuff, but I realized with these dresses that I've been wearing, the dresses are a statement piece, so trying to add jewelry to it is kind of pointless. But.
officially 27 in a day and as you can see I am in the tub we just got back from the pool uh, today was a relaxing day we hung out at the pool all day um, also because it's no longer my birthday I really don't care about photos and stuff like that so I'm just gonna get dressed today and not worry about like catching the sunset, taking pictures, all of that stuff. Cause I already took all the banging photos that I needed to take for this trip anyways. So yeah, so today was just literally, we chilled, hung out at the pool. Yesterday dinner was amazing. After dinner, there's a casino here. Um, I guess the first casino in Marrakesh since, I think it said since 1990 something. Um, so we went to the casino after dinner just to check it out and then there was this lounge there it was so much fun Nikki and them were playing <laughs> Nikki and them I guess so Nikki is this um, American uh, artist I don't remember her last name but it was her and a couple of other people that were performing her band they were performing um, I call them Nikki and them because when we were going into the lounge, the guy was just like, oh, Nikki is going to be performing. She's American. And in my head, I'm like, who's Nikki? Because I'm thinking like, like Nikki Minaj. Uh, <laughs> but it was just a, a live band. And I guess the uh, main girl was Nikki. So I'm calling them Nikki and them. Um, so we listened to them play music. It was so much fun. It was such a good vibe. Morocco is lit, okay? If you wanna have fun, come to Morocco. It is freaking lit, okay? They love to have fun out here, which is surprising because you would think like, oh, it's a Muslim country, there would be strict. Girl, lit. It's about five o'clock now. The sun is starting to set. Well, I think the sun already set pretty much. So I decided that I wanted to get into the tub and soak up a little bit, and then we're just kind of winging tonight. We're just gonna, you know, pick some place. We haven't figured it out yet. And then tomorrow we're gonna go shopping. So I'm excited for that. I need to go to the market. Uh, we already went to the Mardina, which is like downtown uh, Marrakesh. And it's like a market. And um, we kind of walked around there. So tomorrow we plan on going to like markets. I wanna get my sister something. I wanna get my mom something. And then I saw a Dior store and a Louis Vuitton store, so we're gonna check those out too. Um, I was looking to see if there was a Chanel store, but there's no Chanel, unfortunately, so, oh well. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm just hanging out in the tub. He's taking a little rest on the bed, and then we're gonna uh, go have dinner. My freaking battery was dead, I forgot to charge both of my batteries for my camera so that's why i did not bring you guys to the pool today but you guys have already seen me hang out at the pool so many times so you don't need to see it again so yeah i'm just in the tub and then um i'm gonna get out and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do for the rest of the day but like do you guys see the fruits those are great fruits i freaking love it they grow their own um lemon tangerine grapefruit all over the hotel like it's so cool do you guys see that <laughs> in the tub in the tub in the tub this has been such a fun relaxing trip it doesn't get better than this I am out of the tub and I have gotten dressed and uh, we are about to head out to, I believe it's like a lounge dinner. Don't mind my pimple. I have this one pimple right here. Um, but yeah, so we're about to head to dinner, a lounge. Um, yeah, 
it's Monday so we're keeping it very light and tomorrow is our last full day and we head home Wednesday morning so we're just kind of winging it at this point uh -huh. but I'm dressed and yeah I'm ready to go I've been doing these buns because all of my outfits really like I need to have my hair in a bun because I don't know like so this is the dress I got this dress from Hanifa this is the back and this is why I had my hair up in a bun because the back is so like sexy you know what I mean so it's like a deep back dress so if I was to put my hair down I don't think it would look cute so mm. and then I'm not wearing a bra because I don't know it would show and that wouldn't be cute so we're just gonna go like this um yeah it's a really cute dress it's super long that's what it looks like it's hanifa black owned <laughs> so yeah i'm not sure what season or what collection this was from but um it's one of her old collections because it was the only thing that i thought would uh work for this vacation a lot of her new stuff is for like the winter fall vibe if you're in the u.s and it's cold so like, orangey it's pink i don't know if you guys can truly see the color but it's super cute yeah so that is my outfit for this monday <laughs> so just waiting for tattoo daddy and we're going to head to uh the restaurant i think i can't remember i think he said lotus or something like that um we were gonna go there last night but we ended up i told you guys we ended up going to the casino and then we went to this lounge and it ended up being really fun so we're gonna go to this one today and just check it out um see what it's given but we're just kind of winging it nothing specifically planned our last two days here it's no longer my birthday even though it's still my birthday but it's no longer my birthday so i've kind of like you know he's off duty he's no longer required to woo me <laughs> so i'm kind of letting him relax the last two days before we head back to boston because he exceeded himself on this vacation it's been one of the best vacations i've ever been to been on you know i mean all of my vacations with him are always great but definitely one of the best vacations i've ever been on so thank you a tattoo daddy <laughs> Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you come in this cloud all in the sky Who am I by? Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting Option Do you want use your rain and thunder? Baby, I wonder. Baby, I wonder. Put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Uh -huh. I'm talking late night for ya. Let me get a great job on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you Just say you will, will, will Come through and chill, chill, chill So it is the next day. Today is November 22nd. Yeah, 22nd, yeah. So it is our last full day in Marrakesh. And then we head home tomorrow morning at like five o'clock in the morning. Um, so we just had breakfast. Uh, my camera, for some reason this camera specifically, like it kills my battery so fast so if i leave the battery in the camera it literally just kills the battery i don't know why and last night i didn't put the other one on a charge so i didn't take you guys to breakfast yet again um but we did go to breakfast and um 
yeah so now we're going to go shopping in the market kind of went to one uh i want to say the first couple of days we were here i think the second day or so um we had dinner or lunch was it dinner yeah we had dinner at this rooftop and it was kind of like in the market in the mardina so we're gonna go back over there because i want to get my sister some stuff i want to get my mom something i want to see if i can find something for my brother and obviously i just want to do some shopping so we're gonna do some shopping today and then later on tonight we're just gonna hang out at our hotel because we literally have to be on our flight tomorrow at seven o'clock in the morning morocco time so that would be like <laughs> two o'clock american time two o'clock in the morning so we have to be up really early but anyway so yeah that is what we're doing i just have on this plain dress that i got from zaful it is actually more appropriate <laughs> than what i had worn to the market the first time so hopefully i don't get cursed out okay because i told you guys some lady cursed me out because my titties were sitting pretty <laughs> and she was not happy about it so today i decided to actually cover up and i just have on this brown dress it was just like a i think it was like 12 dollars. i got it from zaffo i got all of my like dresses just to wear during the day i got them from zaffo and cover-ups and stuff like that our last tour they took my flowers out of our little uh, fountain and I am displeased with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is our last day. I wish I could take my flowers with me. They bloomed so well. Isn't that pretty? I wonder if they put water in it every day. They must have, because it bloomed so pretty. But yeah, guys. Our last day in this beautiful, beautiful place. Mm. Last full day, so we still have a little bit of time to enjoy it. So I'll probably uh, soak in the tub again tonight. We're going to have our fireplace lit. We're just going to enjoy our last night in this beautiful, beautiful hotel. They have a Dior store and a Louis Vuitton store, so we're gonna go in there and see if I can find anything that I want. I mean, I did already have this Dior bag, and I have a Lady Dior, so technically what else do I really need from Dior? And oh, by the way, uh, Birkin Daddy helped buy this bag, so thank you Birkin Daddy for my birthday gift. <laughs> Trust in me, baby. I wake from my slumber. I wish I could. 
guys we are going to have our last dinner in morocco oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah so we're about to head to dinner i'm gonna quickly show you guys my outfit because my battery is dying all right you guys so we are back from dinner we have packed we are practically ready to go we leave at literally five o'clock in the morning our flight departs at 7 a.m. so we have to be up by four o'clock we have a wake-up call and someone to come and pick up our luggages at 4 15 in the morning our flight leaves at 7 a.m. and then we have to remember to go to um, I think it's called Royal Blue um, so that we can get our taxes back for the stuff that we bought here in Morocco but yeah, so I washed my face, I'm fresh, I'm ready to go to bed, and yeah. So that is the bag that we're checking in. I've got my stuff that I'm wearing in the morning right there. I've got my Dior things that I got here. My carry-on that has all my expensive things. Ladies, 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 if I cannot express this enough, if you're like me and you have expensive clothes, expensive shoes, and expensive bags, do not check in your bag if you can avoid not checking in a bag with all your expensive things please don't do it especially when you're traveling international that is literally the worst thing you could do because if god forbid something happens your bag gets missing you are literally going to miss out on all of your items so always remember that your carry-on has all your expensive things and the bag that you check in has the least expensive things. So this has the least expensive things. Bathing suits that I got from Zaffo, the little throw on stuff, all of that, Tattoo Daddy's unexpensive things all in there. This has all my expensive shoes, expensive bags, and expensive clothes. And then this I'm just going to hold. And then I have here just the stuff that I'm going to be needing in the morning after I shower, my moisturizer, my toothbrush, all of that. He has his things that he's going to need in the morning as well. And then his carry-on, my Hermes blanket for the plane, his clothes. And in here, he has my expensive jewelry and stuff like that that I do not plan on checking in at all. Okay? So, yeah, we are pretty much all packed up. We have it super romantic in here. I don't know if you can see their candles. We had the fireplace lit, but it's pretty much dead now. And yeah, so we're just going to call it a night. Yeah, so I will see you guys in the morning when we are heading out. Or if anything, I will see you guys in America. Morocco has been a blast. Thank you so much, Tattoo Daddy, for making this happen for me. And uh, not only that, it was really nice to be kind of back home, closer to my ancestors, okay? You guys know I'm from Cameroon, born and raised. Um, so it was nice to be in Morocco. It was almost like when we went through the market, it was almost like being back home in Cameroon and all of that stuff. So it's just been really fun at the hotel. It was extravagant, luxurious, fun. It almost felt like we were like in the Maldives, like on vacation, because we are on vacation. But then when we went into like the market and stuff like that, you really got to see like the true Morocco experience and like how people live out here. So it was really nice to kind of experience all of that, um, a different culture, a different lifestyle, while also being luxurious. So it was really nice and uh, Definitely one for the books. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. It is absolutely way too early in the morning right now. It is a four o'clock, well, 4.30. And we are out of here. 
I am like running on four hours of sleep maybe. <laughs> so hopefully I can sleep on the flight. I got my Hermes blanket around me because I'm sure it's chilly outside. And yeah, we're all packed up. They've taken our bags. We're out of here. Morocco has been a vibe, so. And Amanjana was a vibe. So if you ever come to Morocco with your sugar daddy, make sure you stay at this hotel. Or if you're gonna come with a group of friends, book this hotel because you get a villa and it's a vibe, okay? But don't come over here being ghetto. It's supposed to be a zen, peaceful place, okay? So if you're gonna come here with your friends, make sure you come with some bougie friends, not some ghetto ones, okay? Cheers for Gerald, I'm at